guys. Today we're gonna make this cute little ball, but we're gonna use something a little different. I'm using plaster of Paris and whatever you've got to dip, but let's just get started. So when I was doing this, I thought, what do I already have around that I could use? So um, when I order my IOD product, a million of these come in the box. So I thought, how fun, how can I use what I've got? Cause I've got so many. So I wanted it to be flatter on the inside. So all I did, I'm just taping these corners down so it's a little flatter. Just pushing in the corner, putting tape, putting tape, and it just kind of flattens the bottom out. And then I'm just gonna put a couple pieces of tape on the side for these seams. So the first thing I'm gonna do is mix my plaster of Paris and I don't really measure it. I'm just gonna put some in. I don't want it too thin, but I don't want it too, too thick. I'm using a little skinnier, taller container, so I'm not wasting a lot of it. So I guess the consistency I like is almost like a smooth cake batter, where it's, it's thin enough, but it's not so thin that it's just gonna run right off. And I just keep stirring it to get it smooth. And this is messy. And then you want some plastic to be able to lay it on. So what I'm gonna do is just dip all the way in and pull it out. Just a couple times. And then you're just gonna let it set and dry. And then after you've done a bunch of them, you're gonna come back in again and you're going to do your second coat. Second coat here. And if it still seems too thin after it dries, you're gonna do another coat. So when you've gotten a few coats on there and they're dry, you're gonna pull this out, and this is really easy. All I'm gonna do is just pop that, and this just comes right out. And then what I do next is some of the really thin edges I kind of break off. I'm gonna use a heavier sandpaper to kind of start. And I don't really wanna sand it all off because I kind of like the texture on it. It's kind of fun because no two come out the same. So I had done a, bu a bunch of my molds up, my IOD molds, and I put the clay in there and I let these dry. You could actually do these while you're just popping them out and form them on, but I wanted them to be a little stiffer, a little more rigid, so they kind of come off the piece. So I'm using the dry pieces. And then on a bunch of my molds, um, so things come off of the piece, I put some paper wire inside while it dried, and then you can attach these and glue these on, and you have pieces that kind of come up and come off. So we're gonna try a couple different ideas here, and the first thing I'm gonna do is glue everything down before I paint it. And here was one of the, um, the ornate trims, and what I did is I just put it into a circle, used a piece of cardboard, and then formed it into a little circle. We'll see how well this is gonna work. I'm just gonna glue this to the base of this piece of wood. And this, I'm just gonna glue right there.
Okay, so when you think these are all dried on, then I would start just, I'm just gonna paint them and I'm using two different colors. I'm using a brown and a white. You could use any colors you want. on this after it's dried. Be careful with your little pieces. guys had fun watching this it's a little bit messy but if you just have some plaster of Paris dip almost anything and make your own containers and put them together so I'd love to see what you come up with if you like the video don't forget to subscribe and send me some pictures thanks guys Bye.